All right, I went ahead and videoed a bunch of stuff, taking everything apart. I mean, y'all seen, if you watch my other video, you can go back and look at that, I'll put the link right now, to installing the live axle. And I had it installed with a drum brake, but now I've got the uh, disc brake came in. So here's this whole setup. I you know, got this mechanical brake and everything right here. Came with the little disc, so I got that installed on there and I'm mocking it up and everything. It looks like it might not be as difficult as I was anticipating the way that this one's set up. Now everybody's gonna be different, but it looks like almost where I can just about, you can see I've kind of already mocked it up and put some drawings right there. If I weld that right there, now I'm obviously gonna do some other supports and stuff, but if I weld it right there, it will hold. So we're gonna do that right now. see where I've had this tack weld and had it everything lined up with my little uh, sharpening marker right there we're on this side okay got it all mocked up welded up um, it feels pretty dang secure so to be honest I may just try to run it like that for right now and if it does give me an issue I might run a rod from here down to there and that'll give it some leverage down there. But the thing's going to be is when it's stopping, it's going to be pulling it that way. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to run it like this first. And if not, it's going to be real easy to do a rod from there to there. So we'll start putting everything back together. And we'll see. Next step is going to be the if I can get the rods to work to pull. The only thing that I think is going to be an issue is it has no tension, so maybe it won't need to be pulled back. Maybe it'll just kind of release itself and only be, you know, pulled one direction. So we'll see. All right, now I've got everything done. Everything seems to be working really good. We've got the brakes all bolted up. Everything now. Um, as far as that. One more little thing I need to do, I need to get like a spring of some kind. Pulling back to here just so I can get some, get where it'll come back after you hit the brakes because it still feels like it's somewhat sticking for the most part. But as you can see, I use the original bracket and everything. Kind of bent this some, I'll probably need to do a little touch up paint on it. But uh, works pretty dang good, I have to say. I'm pretty impressed. That's the whole getting caboodle this uh pretty nice i should have done this from the beginning i shouldn't have even attempted the uh the silly little drum break that was that was just a joke there's no way i mean it, maybe i mean if, it, if you had i don't know maybe if the angles were the way they were supposed to have been it would have been a lot better but this right here definitely is the way to go. I mean, it, it definitely locks it up for sure. So I'm taking this for a little test drive just to make sure everything's good, especially with my body weight. And I've got to fix the kill switch for some reason is not working that I've got wired up here. So I gotta figure out what's going on with that. But other than that, she's good to go. Disc brakes and all, mechanical disc brakes. So I got everything. Got my blue Loctite on all the little set screws. Um, everything should be good to go now. So I'm just gonna have to start ripping this thing around. Letting the kids have, have some fun with it, so.
stopping now. There's definitely one thing about it. If I had to do this all over again, I would have saved some money if I'd went ahead and went with the mechanical instead of the band brake. And probably I welded just as much with the band brake as I would have with this mechanical brake. So I really didn't benefit, which is what I was kind of hoping for, was benefiting by going with the uh, disc brake. I mean, not the disc brake, good gosh. By benefiting by going with the band brake, so I didn't at all. I mean, it was a waste of time. I had to redo everything, remock everything back up again. And uh, it worked out in the end. This thing stops very well. It's an easy adjustment on the back side. I can get down here and kind of show you. Right. Yep. That right there, you can kind of see where my finger is on the back side of this. It's the adjustment and everything to adjust how much needs to be clamped and everything when you actuate this little lever right here. So, got it all adjusted right. Um, took it out for a little spin, and it's kind of, when you get in full throttle, it starts acting up for some reason. So, got to figure out what's going on with that. It probably needs a new spark plug for sure, <laughs> but because I haven't changed spark plug in this and I couldn't tell you when. So, but yeah, that'll be my uh, review, install, and everything. In my opinion, if I was going to do this uh, solid axle, one inch solid axle kit on one of these go karts, especially on this specific main cove right here, go with the mechanical. You don't have to do a whole lot of adjustment and everything. And this does not flex at all like I was kind of worrying about. Like that little bit of weld on the outside right here. And then I welded on the inside as well. Can't really see obviously, but opposite side on the inside, I welded in there as well. So it's got a good bit of welds on it. So yep, that will be my opinion and how to install a mechanical brake on this live axle kit. All right, after riding it a few times, the uh, it wasn't strong enough. You can kind of see right there where the paint's chipped off right there. The bottom part where I was pulling the lever to stop was actually pulling the whole bracket down. So I'm in the process of trying to then cut a little angle right here and we'll do that and then Try to get the angle right and cut there and then weld that in and see if that works. If it doesn't work after that, then I can do maybe another support, maybe from here to here to get a little more leverage. Um, I've been almost tempted to just go ahead and do this because I know this will work, but this angle I think is going to be a lot cleaner. So we're going to go with that first. So. Now it's welded in, you can kind of see the concept of what I was trying to do here. So we shall see if that'll work. If not, like I said, I can run one from here, kind of over here a little more, you know, flat and straight in, give it a little bit more support. But I think that should work, so we'll see. Now that everything's done on the brakes, uh, the supports, that extra rod I added and all that, all that looks good. I don't see it flexing or anything when I was trying to use it and everything, but I know I've got everything adjusted like it's supposed to be as far as the pressure from the pad and the pads close enough and all that. So it's not that, but maybe I'm just too heavy plus a go-kart, but I still don't think it stops the best. I mean, it's better than the band brake, but I wouldn't say this is like the best. There's no way I could get it to lock up, nor I don't see my kids getting into the lockup either, unless they're on some loose gravel heading downhill or something. I might be able to, but other than that, I mean, it's still better than the band break, but that's kind of my opinion on it now that it's all complete and everything. But hope this helps y'all. 
decide whether to do a mechanical brake or try to figure out the band brake or a disc brake like kind of set up and all that with master cylinder and all that which may be better maybe a lot lot better so i don't know i might look into that in the future changing it but like i said hopefully this helps y'all we'll see y'all next time I think I made a uh, another financial decision that probably wasn't very smart, but we'll get to the house and talk about it. <laughs>